Hello everyone, welcome back to a small turbo channel. Hello po pala sa mga mahilig mag advanced study. Nandito na tayo ngayon sa module 3 ng quarter 2 of sign 7. So kapag uh, kayo ay nag as uh, sumasagot na sa mga learners home task na ginawa ng inyong mga guro ay for sure maka sagot na kayo noon dahil nag-advance study na kayo ngayon. So, good luck. Let's continue. At ngayon, marami tayong magagandang ipapakita sa inyo. Mga interactive plant and animal cells. Okay, so ang topic natin is comparing plant and animal cells. So, yan yung makikita mo nyo later. Courtesy of lifelike.com so, ano bang similarities ng plant and animal cells? Ano ba yung differences nila? Okay, ito pa rin ang self-learning home task na ginawa natin. So, okay. So, plant cells and animal cells are both eukaryotic cells because they have true nucleus which contains DNA and enclosed by nuclear membrane making it to be separated from other organelles. So, both cell types reproduce in similar methods which comprise mitosis and meiosis. Respiration is the process in which plant cells and animal cells gain energy in order for them to grow and sustain the usual cellular function. Plant and animal cells are composed of cell parts also known as organelles, which means little organs. Okay, which means little organs. So these organelles are significant because they perform specialized function necessary for cellular processes. So both cell types have nucleus. That means yung plant cell at saka animal cells ay meron nito. Nucleus, smooth and rough in the plasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies, mitochondria, ribosomes, vacuoles, cell membrane, and cytoplasm. However, plant and animal cells also differ from some points. So, makikita natin yan dito. So, ito yung differences niya. So, may apat tayong punto na kung saan nag-differ yung plant and animal cells. So, yung similarities niya or nila, similarities ng plant and animal cells ay yung organelles itong organelles na na-mention na natin. Yun ang yan ang similarities ng plant and animal cells. Yung differences nila ay marami. So, una pa lang sa size. So, yung plant cells are commonly larger compared to animal cells. Then, plant cells measure approximately 10 to 100 micrometers in length while animal cells length is about 10 to 30 micrometers. So, medyo smaller yung animal cell compared to plant cells. Second point na meron silang pagkakaiba is yung shape. Yung plant cell are almost like in size and you say alike in size meaning almost the same lang sila ng size and have angular or cube shape while animal cells are irregular in shape and comes in different sizes. Teka, bago tayo pumunta sa next difference, uh, tingnan muna natin yung uh, interactive plant and animal cell natin. Okay, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyong interactive na picture ng plant cell. Okay? So, pwede natin itong palakihin para mas makita niyo dyan. So, courtesy of online.lifelike.com ito. So, isa ito sa nakita ko sa seminar namin no vacation. Kaya, ginamit ko dito. Okay? So, ito ang plant cell. So, nakikita ninyo. It's angular in shape. Merong angulo yung shape niya. Okay? So, meron siya like this is an oblique angle. 
oblique angle here. Okay, anyway, cell wall, uh, itong nagha-highlight na green, green, yan ang cell wall. Cell membrane, yan ang cell membrane niya. Yang nagha-highlight na yellow, yellow green yan. Okay, then in the plasmic reticulum, so, Later on, maki, uh, malaman ninyo na in, yung endoplasmic reticulum ay merong rough at saka smooth. Yung rough is yung merong, yan, parang raisin. Okay, ribosomes. Merong ribosomes yung rough. Yung smooth, walang ribosomes. Then, we have the Golgi body. Itong parang plates. Then, the vacuole. Napakalaki ng vacuole ng plant cell. Kasi dito, nag-store ng water. Okay, na siyang naging uh, reason na fresh yung and uh, crispy yung uh, plant. Then, we have the nucleus. Okay, tingnan natin sa harapan. Nucleus is parang napakalaking bola sa, uh, sa plant cell. And the nucleolus, itong nasa loob ng nucleus. Then, mitochondria, the powerhouse, parang battery siya ng cell. Then, the chloroplast. So, dito nag-photosynthesis. Uh, okay, nag- uh, Yeah, dyan nag-store uh, yung sense energy for photosynthesis. Then, the free ribosomes, ito yung parang raisin. Okay, cytoskeleton din na yan na-mention. Okay, so, ito ang plant cell. Okay? So, ang ganda, ano? Plant cell. So, yan ang plant cell natin. So, ito again, chloroplast, mitochondria, and okay, ang ganda nila, no? Okay, ito naman yung animal cell. Okay? So, nakikita ninyo. Okay? Ang shape niya is walang angle. Okay? Hindi siya angular. And, ito ang nucleus. Okay. Then, dito, meron tayong centrosome. Yung plant cell, walang centrosome. Itong centrosome or centromere in other uh, books. So, dito, nag-undergo ng uh, yung process ng cell effort mitosis. Parang mito meiosis. Okay. Uh, let me check it on it later. So, my point is, yung centrosome or centromere is dito lang siya sa animal cell makikita. Wala ito sa plant cell. Sa plant cell naman, meron silang chloroplast at saka cell wall. Dito sa animal cell, wala. Then, we have the endoplasmic reticulum. Okay? Meron to, tayong smooth, yung walang ribosomes at itong ah, uh, Merong ribosomes, parang raisin ay rough in the plasmic reticulum. Then, the Golgi apparatus, itong parang plates. Then, the lysosome. Then, the microtubules. Then, the mitochondrion. Again, the powerhouse of the cell. Wala naman to. Then, the ribosomes, yung parang raisin. So, yan lang ang basic ng animal cell. Okay? Yan ang animal cell. Again, in the middle pa rin, nucleolus yan. Pero hindi siya na-mention. Nucleus lang ang na-mention dito. Okay. So, animal cells are regular in shape. Then, growth. Plant cells are becoming larger as they grow. They absorb more water and store it in central vacuole. Meanwhile, animal cells multiply in order to increase in size. Then, Presence or absence of organelles. So, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Chloroplast and cell wall, nandyan makikita lang siya sa plant cells. While centrioles can only be found in animal cell only. That here, the different organelles of the cells, okay? And the respective functions. So, cell membrane yung nag-enclose ng cell and nag-separate ng cell from the uh, outside environment. So, ito yung kumbaga nag-control kung sino lang ang pwedeng pumasok sa cell. So, kumbaga cell membrane yung security guard. Then, cytoplasm, the jelly-like substance where other organelles are being found. 
Okay, so hindi included yung nucleus area ng nucleus. Then the vacuoles they serve as the storage for nutrients and water. So so dito rin ex, uh, mag excrete ng waste products ang cell. Then the lysosome is the um it contains the digestive enzyme which can break down excess or dead cell parts. Then the ribosomes. So dito mag protein synthesis. Then the Golgi bodies responsible for transporting, modifying and packaging of proteins and lipids. So para siyang plato, no? Para siyang plates. Then the nucleus, the both uh, both cell types have this organ which function as the control system of the cell. So, hindi pwedeng wala ito sa plant cell or sa animal cell. Nandiyan talaga siya kasi dito siya, kumbaga brain ito, the control system of the cell. Then, the endoplasmic reticulum. So, as I have said, can be smooth or rough. So, kapag mayroong ribosomes na naka-attach, rough endoplasmic reticulum yan. So, Folding of proteins in sacs. So, siya yung nag-fold, tagatupik. Then, centriole, responsible for cell reproduction and can only be found in animal cells. So, ito yung responsible ng cell reproduction. So, again, nandyan lang siya sa animal cells. Wala to sa plant cells, ang centriole. Then, the cell wall gives shape. May, kaya pala merong shape ang plant cell kasi meron siyang cell wall na nagbibigay ng shape sa plant cell. Then the chloroplast absorb energy from the sun which is used for food production of the plants. So ito yung plant cell and ito yung animal cell. And the exercises we have here. So this is exercises. I am going to give this to you na. Kayo nang bahala mag-answer nito. Basta bina binasa niyo lang yung um or nakinig lang kayo sa discussion natin kanina, maka-answer talaga kayo nito. Okay. Then, we have the second exercises. We are going to label. Then, the assessment. Okay. You may pause this video para makapag-answer kayo in advance or makapag-self-study kayo. kayo. Okay, so hanggang dito lang tayo. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig mga bata at sa mga um, my colleagues or my, my, my co-teachers. So thank you so much. You may use this as your reference if you want to. Uh, you may let your students um, view this video for their supplementary uh, material in their studies okay so thank you so much for thank you so much for staying with us in a small turbo channel and please continue support us uh, please continue to support us so that we can also continue to show you some video pertaining to your studies thank you so much and bye bye